Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And in today's episode, we're learning how to make a mini monkey's fist keychain impact tool. I like to call this one the mini stinger. This is just a compact version of the monkey's fist impact tool that you can use to keep your keys on you. And it came out really sweet. So that being said, let's get into it. In terms of materials, I've got my two lengths of paracord, a one inch steel ball, and this uh, sort of lobster hook clasp sort of thing. And uh, I have also got a key ring, which is another option you can use to connect it to. You can use whatever hardware you wish. To start off, I've got my piece of olive paracord and I've got a couple feet on my left side here. And from there is where I'm gonna start tying my monkey's fist. Doing a four pass monkey's fist. So I'm gonna start wrapping my paracord around my index and middle finger, wrapping away from me. And for this one inch ball, um, I think you can do five passes, but I just chose to do four. Didn't want it too crowded. So I've wrapped my four vertical passes. I'm going to pinch the paracord between my thumb and middle finger. And then from there, I'm going to insert the metal ball. And from this point, you can start wrapping perpendicular horizontally from that. I'm gonna go around and behind the first four passes and start wrapping counterclockwise. And I'm going to wrap another four passes going this direction. Make sure your cords stack on top of each other properly and they don't overlap or tangle up with each other. Also make sure you don't have any twists in your paracord. So I've wrapped four passes going horizontally and from this point I'm going to remove my index and middle finger and just very carefully holding everything together. I'm gonna to start wrapping vertically again going through the top and bottom of the spaces above and below the steel ball bearing and notice I'm wrapping away from myself in a clockwise motion and at this point you're going to do another four passes and I'm going from the left to the right across that ball bearing and just finishing up the last fourth pass get all those twists out and before you continue, just verify that you have four passes on each side. Now from here, I'm going to cinch the excess slack out and notice that vertical set of passes is sticking out the most. I'm going to start with that set of passes to get all the slack out. And just make sure you work the slack from one end of the monkey's fist all the way out to the other. If you notice you have one end of your paracord longer than the other, I would start cinching that cord out the other way so you even up those strands because you want even strands coming out of your monkey's fist. Now I haven't completely cinched up my monkey's fist just yet. I've gotten the excess slack out but I haven't fully tightened it up. And now holding my monkey's fist in this way, you'll notice my uh, cords coming out form this sort of seven shape. With the bottom cord, I'm gonna pass it underneath the four passes on that side. And what I'm doing is I want my cords to come out the same spot. And with that other strand, again, I'm gonna pass it underneath four sets of strands to help those two cords meet at the same spot so that they come out of the monkey's fist uh, right next to each other. And now, as you can see, I've got both cords coming out relatively the same spot on the monkey's fist. So I've got my monkey's fist tightened up, both cords coming out the bottom. And next, I'm just going to tie the good old diamond knot. So with the right strand, I'm going to make a counterclockwise loop, lay it over the left strand. The left strand goes underneath the right strand to the right. Bring it back over and go over, under, over that middle strand to form our Carrick's Bend. And now working with the strand on the left, I'm going to bring it around going in a counterclockwise direction, bring it past the sort of root strand on the right and bring it through the middle of the diamond knot, bring the right strand around to the left side and go around that base strand and go through the back of the Carrick's bend and out the middle. Now, if that was a bit unclear, you can check my dedicated diamond knot tutorial. I'm going to cinch up this diamond knot and um, it is a bit far away from the monkey's fist so before you fully cinch it up uh, just cinch out all that slack and bring the diamond knot closer to the monkey's fist 
And just working slowly, if you trace the strands of the diamond knot, you can always figure out which strand will uh, take up the slack and allow you to move the diamond knot sort of downwards. So yeah, take your time in doing that. Get the diamond knot all the way to the point where it's touching the monkey's fist right next to it. Next, I'm going to do my four strand braid. I'm gonna take my ACU paracord, wrap it around the olive, so I have opposing colors on each side. And now with the bottom left, I'm gonna cross it over with the top right strand, okay? You always want one color of each on either side. And now with the top left, I'm gonna cross it over with the bottom right. And that's how we do our four strand braid. So again, top right crosses with bottom left and then top left crosses with bottom right and if you cross it the wrong way it's going to come undone and you'll know right away so continue that pattern going down your monkey's fist lanyard and and tie the desired length you wish so i've tied sufficient length now i want to incorporate my hardware and notice the placement of my cords i'm going to hold my clasp right in the middle there and with the olive strand on the right, I'm gonna pass it from the right to the left through that bottom ring. And with the ACU strand on the left side, I'm gonna pass it through the ring from the left to the right. And what we're doing here is just tying a square knot. So now you'll notice on the right side, I have the olive strand and the ACU strand right next to each other. I'm gonna take the olive strand from the bottom Put it on top of the ACU and underneath the olive. And on the opposite side, I'm going to take the ACU strand, go over the olive and through that ACU loop. So we've just tied a square knot that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. And then you're just going to tighten up that knot and cinch it down nice and tight. Now from here, we're going to clip two of our cords off and notice the orientation of my strands. You want to do the exact same. I'm sure it'll still work though if you clip the opposite strands, but I'm going to clip off that ACU strand up top. I'm just going to melt it with my lighter and press down with the knotter's tool. And then now on the opposite side, I will clip off the excess green strand or olive strand. Same thing, melt it with the lighter and press down with the knotter's tool. Now with my two remaining strands, I'm going to tie snake knots going back the direction we came. So with the ACU strand on the right, I'm going to wrap it around the back and to the front around that four strand braid and the opposite strand, the OD green strand. And then with the olive strand, I'm gonna wrap it around front, go behind and go through that uh, loop we created with the ACU strand. Okay, so that is just tying a single snake knot around the four strand braid. And then you're gonna tighten that up. And we're back to where we started. So again, wrap the ACU strand around the back and to the front. And then with the opposite strand, wrap it over top that ACU strand, bring it around the back and go through that ACU loop on the back. And then pull it tight and you'll have your snake knots. So you can continue tying these snake knots going down your four strand braid. It'll create a nice sort of handle for the monkey's fist mini stinger. And the snake knots will kind of twist a little bit. Um, not much you can do about that, but uh, yeah, they will start to twist as you go down your four strand braid and again once you've tied your desired length you can clip off the excess cords and just melt them with your lighter and press down with the knotter's tool so unfortunately you will have a little bit of wastage here because you can't really shorten um, your strands as you do need that bit of excess to tie the remaining snake knot and there we go there is the Mini Monkey's Fist Keychain Impact Tool, also known as a Mini Stinger. Very cool and interesting way to carry your keys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to get access to exclusive videos as well as join us on the Weavers of Eternity Discord, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. If you enjoyed what I did in this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.